considerable geth activity and an environmental hazard. Solar output has overwhelmed Haystrom's protective magnetosphere. Exposure to direct sunlight will damage your shields. Having serious issues with my shields. So we'll fight from the shade, but no hiding. Incoming dropship.
right on your ass. We should find an alternate path. We're roasting out here. This looks interesting. This is Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Can we provide assistance? Patch your radio into channel 617 Theta. We were on a stealth mission, high risk. We found what we were after. The Geth found us. They've got us pinned down. Can't get to our ship. Can't transmit data through the solar radiation. What brought you this deep into Geth-controlled space? You're asking the wrong person, Shepard. Any idea where the Geth came from? One of the patrol ships found us. Drop ships started raining Geth down on our heads before we could get off the world. Systems under Geth control. We knew they made planetary sweeps periodically. We hoped going low emissions would hide us. Do we have to worry about the Geth sending in reinforcements? I don't think so. Their patrol ship hasn't lifted off again. The radiation blocks all off-world communication. 
What's the status of your team? How many of you are left? We were a small squad, dozen Marines plus the science team. We're down to half strength now. May the synthetic bastards pay for it, though. How are you holding up? We can be there in a few minutes. Take it slow and careful. Direct sunlight fries your shields all to hell. We're bunkered down at base camp across the valley. I left Talizor at a secure shelter that doubled back to all the choke point. Getting Tally out safely is our top priority. If you can extract her, we'll keep them off you. You got confirmation that the Geth haven't reached Tally yet? Affirmative. Left my best men with her. When you get here, you can talk to her on the comm. Every Marine on this rock is sworn to protect Tally Zora. As long as one of us is still drawing air, she'll be safe. Hold position. We'll hit their back ranks. Wait! Watch your ass! We got a dropship coming in!
This should punch through their armor. and back.
Time to fight! Send it to the sky. We might want to move.
Gregorian architecture. There's two words you don't expect to hear together. Why do we care? Anyone choosing to come here should be on their own. I'll take it. Tully's order to base camp. Come in base camp. Tally, it's Shepard. I'm sorry. Everyone here is dead. Any survivors must have fallen back. We knew this mission was high risk. Damn it. And what are you doing here, Shepard? We're in the middle of Geth space. I was in the neighborhood. I thought you might need a hand. Thanks for coming, Shepard. It means a lot to hear your voice. Carl Rieger and what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory. From where you are, it's through the door and across the field. I got to the data I needed, and I'm safe for now, but I've got a lot of geth outside. Is anyone else still with you, or are you alone out there? Rieger had a team of marines covering me when I ran for the observatory. At least some of them are still alive. I can hear them firing at the geth outside. What is this research you're after? It's about this world's sun. It's aging faster than it should. I can tell you more about it once we've got fewer Geth shooting at us. Would it help if I brought in the Normandy? Doubtful. These buildings are centuries old. If you bring down heavy fire, this whole place could collapse on us. It looks like somebody sealed the door against the Geth and the console's damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Should be unlocked now. Be careful, Shepard, and please, do what you can to keep Rieger alive. Our ancestors walked these halls with uncovered heads. The sun must have been normal back then. So much space, walls of stone. It's amazing. I wish my friends could see it. I wish Shepard were here. been spotted. Machine cowards! The drones can hide!
Up front!
process. Get down. This is why I follow you, Shepard. Big things. Gear up! Over here! Get to cover! Squad leader Kyle Rieger, migrant fleet marines! We talked on the radio before that dropship arrived. I still got no idea why you're here. This ain't the time to be picky. Allie's inside over there. Jeff killed the rest of my squad, and they're trying to get to her. Best I've been able to do is draw their attention. How many Geth are out there? The Geth are near platoon strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. Huddles up and fixes itself. I can't get a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer, but one of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. How bad is your suit damage? Combat seals clamp down to isolate contamination, and I'm swimming in antibiotics. The Geth might get me, but I'm not gonna die from an infection in the middle of a battle that's just insulting. Any ideas on how to deal with the Colossus? Standard protocol with armature class units is to sabotage the shields and whittle it down, you know? Kill it with bug bites. But the repair protocol blows that plan to hell. You try to wear it down, it just huddles up and fixes itself. So whatever we do has to scrap that bastard fast. Probably means getting up close, past that cover. What can you tell me about the battlefield? Right side's got a catwalk with a sniper perch. You could wreak some havoc from there. None of my men made it past the get. Middle's got cover, but the damn Colossus has a clear shot at you the whole time, and you've got Geth coming in from both sides. The left gives you some cover from the Colossus, but your ass is hanging out for the Geth. That's how I got shot. We need to get to Tally. Got any ideas? Just one. I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. And I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy, maybe even drop its shields. With luck, you'll be able to finish it off. You've done enough, Rieger. You don't need to throw your life away. Wasn't asking your permission. My job is to keep Tally safe. We don't have enough people on our side for you to take one for the team. Stand down! I'm not gonna stand there while you run into enemy fire. They killed my whole squad. And if you want to honor your squad, watch my back. I need you here in case they bring reinforcements. <clears throat> All right, Shepard. We'll do it your way. Hit him for me. Keep us alive. Incoming. <laughs> yeah, right on your ass.
I'll put them down. Them down.
Nice work. Just let me finish this download. Thank you, Shepard. If not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. What can you tell me about your research here? Haystrom's sun is destabilizing. Back when this was a Quarian colony, it was a normal star. It shouldn't change that quickly. Any idea what's destabilizing the sun? If I had to guess, I'd say that it was dark energy affecting the interior of the star. The effect is similar to when stars blow off mass to enter a red giant phase. But Haystrom's sun is far too young for this to be natural. A lot of Quarians lost their lives here. Was it worth it? I don't know, Shepard. It wasn't my call. The Admiralty Board believed the information here was worth sacrificing all our lives for. I have to believe that they know what's best. I didn't ask what some Admiral thought. I asked what you thought. A lot of people died here. Some of them were my friends. All of them were good at their jobs. That damn data better be worth it. The price was too high. Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. And if the Admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. I just watched the rest of my team die. Maybe not the whole rest of your team, ma'am. Rieger, you made it. Your old captain's as good as you said. Damn Colossus never stood a chance. If need be, the Normandy can get you out of here, Rieger. Well, the Geth didn't damage our ship. As long as we get out of here before reinforcements show up, we'll be fine. Actually, I won't be going with you. I'm joining Commander Shepard. I'll pass the data to the Admiralty Port and let him know what happened. She's all yours now, Shepard. Keep her safe. Cerberus saw footage of you in action, Talizor. We're looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are, but Cerberus threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. You don't have to like them, Tally, but we're on the same side this time. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you. Not for them. If it helps, check out the Normandy while you're here. We've gotten a few upgrades. I'll get Talizor the necessary security clearance to access our systems. Please do. I can't be part of your team if I don't know how the ship works. Remember, Shepard, these people thought enslaving Thorian creepers and Rachni was a good idea. I'll be in engineering. Don't forget to introduce yourself to Edie. The ship's new artificial intelligence. I had a wonderful chat with your friend Tally. She's not what I expected from her psych report. I like her. Tally's a good friend. We've been through a lot together. Corians are so fascinating to me, but they also make me a little sad. Why do they make you sad? Their environment suits are so beautiful, but with their immune systems, they're trapped inside. I wonder what they look like under those helmets, or what their skin feels like under those suits. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. 
I'll be here if you need anything. It's great to see Tali on board, Commander, just like old times. It is her, right? I mean, because with the mask, it's... Ah, never mind. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Garrus put some crazy tech into the main guns. It's almost doubled their power draw. They seem pretty wicked. Indeed. Don't worry. A few tweaks to the forward capacitors, and the balance is back in line. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking out Gath on Haystrom, did we? I can't believe so many people died. Thank you again for getting Rieger out alive. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Have you heard any word about Cal Rieger? Did he survive his injuries? He sent me a message. It looks like he'll make a full recovery. Any time you get a suit puncture, it's a matter of luck. Rieger got out with a relatively minor infection. Any news yet on the data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while, or on an unsecured channel for that matter. Tell me about the fleet's admiralty board. It's one of two major political powers among my people. The admirals make decisions related to defense or needing immediate action. They also handle major criminal charges, like treason. The other political power is the Conclave, a group of representatives from each ship. They make most of our laws and fleet decisions. Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? Caught some tension back on Freedom's progress, and again when you first came aboard. What happened between Cerberus and the Quarians? They attacked one of our ships, the Idena. It seems they were attempting to kill or control a young human biotic who was on the fleet. I don't really know the details. I do know that Cerberus made an enemy of the Quarian people. I fully expect them to betray us at some point, and we'll be ready. I'm glad to hear that, Shepard. Just let me know how I can help. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by. <laughs>